been this other watcher gave the watcher girl the watcher gave the super minnows haba 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 now watch me you you never seen my videos before I always start out with a small tribute to soldier boy I love soldier boy I've talked about this before but I love his name I love that it's soldier boy it's not soldier man it's not soldier guy he's keeping it juvenile in a way it's innocent and I like that it almost sounds like a nickname that a kid would give themselves like while playing in the backyard like make believe like okay you're princess girl and and, and I'm soldier boy just like sipping on a juice box and peeing on themselves but soldier wouldn't do that soldier pees in a toilet every soldier boy pees in a toilet every day of his life. Do you get that? I just showered for the first time in three days. It's a lot better to say that than I haven't showered for three days. Like the past tense makes it a little more bearable, but it's still okay. If you haven't showered for three days, honestly do it. It feels great. Like it's one of those, it's one of those things that feels so good, but you just can't do it. Even though it gives you like a boot, like they say running like feels like heroin. Honestly, having showered feels like cocaine. I realized that I actually just lied. I took a bath and I feel kind of embarrassed about that because like I, I've talked about this before but some people just see bath as like relaxation time like an act. The act is taking a bath but I use the bath like they did in like the 18th century like I soap, I shampoo, I wet my hair like I get it done in the bath. For some people that's like gross. I hate when people say ew baths are gross you're like laying in your own filth. It's like honey I've been laying in my own filth in bed for three days anyway, we might as well add soap into the mix. And I can't stand up right now because I'm very sad, so let me lay in my filth. What is my filth anyway, by the way? Some cookie crumbs? Some Cool Ranch Dorito remnants? Grow up! I don't mind taking a dip with those guys. It's like swimming with my friends. Today I went to the 99 cent store. This is not a dollar store haul. It's a 99 cent store haul. That means I saved over 30 cents on this trip. What am I going to buy with it? A little peanut. One peanut I'm going to suck on for, for, for weeks. What? Let's get to it. He put it on his head. I hope everyone's like, what if this was the funniest part of the video? I was like, mom, come here. He put, he put the bag on his head. The mom's like, ah. This is a lock of hair. It almost seems like something you'd save after you murder someone, but it's a Disney princess lock of hair. I think that, by the way, this looks really good. I can't even lie about this. I think this is supposed to be the, a girl from Frozen. I haven't seen the movie Frozen, but I can try to do an impression of her. I'm friends with an ugly snowman that nobody likes, nobody buys his merch, he's no Drew Monson, and he should get hit by a car. I hate that snowman so much. I imagine if you went to the Disney store and you bought your kid a little frozen snowman like mug, he'd sm he'd throw it on the floor and he'd go, Mommy doesn't love me. This is a notebook. Literally the only reason I got this, and it was $3.99 by the way, is because it says it says Boom Zamoray on it. And the only thing I can think of when I saw that is that sounds exactly like a drunk text someone would send me like right after they're telling me they're not that drunk. Like, I'm not that drink. Boom Zamoray. Uh, sorry, haha. -ha. Or like a sim who like just peed on the floor but it doesn't have the self-control to clean it up themselves. They're like waiting for you to hover above and click go to the bathroom. So it's just like Boom Zamoray. Boom Zamoray. Gaga ha. Gaga ha. Hobnob do -ra. Hop, nop, do, ra, ra. This I found I thought was really cool. It's knockoff Zack and Cody merch. Or you could like use it sarcastically when somebody tells you something about their life that they seem to think is cool, but it's like not. They're like, I got so drunk last night, I threw up on my Uber driver like all over him. But then we cleaned it up together and I ended up getting his number. And you could just be like, sweet life, bro. This is a poster that says, I can't adult today. Now the only thing I could think of when I saw this, and I, I swear on my life, I am not making fun of them, but you know adult babies? Like a people who like adults who dress up as babies like wear a diaper Do you think that instead of saying I can't adult today? They go I cannot baby today Like I swear to God I cannot goo goo gaga again like I'm so sick of I can't go in my diaper I'm about to use the toilet get the pacifier out of my mouth. No bottle. I want to drink out of a cup Okay, I want to speak English. I just I can't do it. I can't baby today. This is called furry pet wraps this little guy honestly 
this thing is scary. Like, if this guy was scooting toward me, I'd shoot it with a gun that I don't even have. Like, the Lord would place a firearm in my possession because he knows this thing has a lust for blood. I guess you put it around your arm. I Honestly, this is too much. Like, even for a five-year-old, this is too much. Like, if a girl showed up to school wearing this, her friends would be like, Maddie, honestly, you're going a little too hard today. Imagine if I wore, just like as a 24-year-old, just wore this in public. Just like, what time is it? Oh! It's my friend. This is honestly the ugliest. I only bought this because it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. It literally, it's one of those sequence like changing things. It says yay, and then what's next? You assume nay, and then a picture of a horse. But no, it's just a heart. I've never been so mad at a heart in my life. And why is it shit brown? I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is shit color. If something's going to be shit brown, it should have a moose's face on it. Otherwise, it's not cute. This is called Minions. Me's. I'm actually really excited about this because you know normally minions are I'd say about 110 pounds four foot two But these the, my problem with minions has always been that I can't fit them in my pocket I actually have a shirt that says minions are too big this little minion has a ukulele probably posting a cover of Sea of love to tumblr. I don't know if you can see this But this minion has a little hat that says I love Gru on it I feel like even Gru like even a narcissist like that would be like look. I don't want groupies this minion has a leaf blower. Literally, the sound a leaf blower makes is my least favorite noise in the whole world. Like the, uh, uh, I get so mad every time, but if I went outside and there was just a tiny minion like blowing the leaves, I'd be like, carry on, sir. I'm a big fan. This minion went to jail. I, I really wonder what happened. What if it was tax fraud? What if it was murder? Like, honestly, I know this is cliche to say, but I want to be murdered by a minion. You know what I mean? Like, if the last thing I saw on Earth, on planet Earth, was that sexy one beady eye with the, with the little silver glasses just, like, staring at me, I'd be like, cowboy, take me away. This is like a little hanger wooden thing. It says, a girl should be two things, classy and fabulous. I completely completely disagree. A girl should be two things, Jojo and Siwa. Fidget spinner, remember these? These are, it's literally, it always seems like it's gonna last forever, doesn't it? When something's popular, it's like, oh, the new thing. Well, this is gonna be the, the way it is now, and then it's just, it's like Old Town Road. Like, in one week, it'll be funny to just sing that song. To just be like, I'm gonna take my horse. People will be like, good one, Jonathan. <laughs> you sang the song that we don't like anymore. This is so, like, I don't think I I'm doing it right, but it's very much just like nothing at all. Like, I think this was marketed as like a solution for ADD. Can you imagine someone being like, okay, your uh, treatment options are Adderall or this? Adderall works in about 45 minutes. This doesn't work. I'd be like, yeah, I'll have the amphetamines. Thank you. This is actually based on my favorite emoji, but it terrifies me. Like, why does it have legs, but no hands? I can just imagine it like running across the floor, just like making a sound like baga 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 baga. Can you, that, that's a horror movie. I do love this face though. Like I started using it ironically with a friend, but now we literally, like one week later, we end all of our, all of our texts with three of these guys. Like, normal stuff. We'll just be like, I can't can't get out of bed today, you know, normal stuff, and just like, hee hee hee, just, it's fun. This is a candle that says, welcome fall, pumpkin kisses, harvest wishes? Is that, has anyone ever heard that phrase before, pumpkin kisses? You can't just make up something and pretend it's a slogan. Like, hello to winter, time for some eggnog embraces, like, eggnog embraces isn't real. Pumpkin kisses, like, is that when someone eats a pumpkin and then kisses my, smooches my little little puckers? Are you kidding me? Back off, Steven. This was literally at the dollar store. It's Jojo Siwa merch. I pray to the Lord that I get so successful that my merch is sold at discount store. And I'm not like, that's not making fun of her. Like if I had like Drew Monson 7-Eleven hot dogs, like that's, I'm there. I think it's just like an arts and crafts kit. Imagine if I just like showed up to a date with this, just like, Oh, I thought we could draw. <laughs> There's a little notebook inside that says Smart Girls Squad. I feel like that's not very inclusive. Like, if there was a Smart Boys Squad when I was in elementary school, I wouldn't have been a part of it. Right, and I got some Siwa sticks. Hi, nice to meet you. The Why is the what on my face? 
This is just a squishy animal thing. I actually enjoy this, but the first thing I thought when I saw this is it reminded me of like health class in freshman year of high school and they showed, for some reason, they, I know they had the technology, did anyone else experience this? They had the technology to like connect a laptop to a projector, but for some reason in health class, they brought out like the clear plastic sheets and the like reel to reel projector and showed us these disgusting images of like the most severe cases of an STD. TD. Like, it, 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 they should have showed us the subtleties because now I'm just like, oh, I don't have a fish growing on me. I must be clean. I love toys where the objective is to just like disfigure and destroy them. I feel like, by the way, this is from the 99 cent store. It's about to explode on me and I'm gonna have to go to the hospital. This is mouthwash. I mostly bought this so I could, you know, take care of myself and my mouth. I love my body. But I also got it because I love the name. It's called Reach Essentials. And I just could not stop thinking. It seems like an amazing prop for when you're having a conversation with someone and they make a little bit of a reach. You know what I mean? Like when it's a bit of a reach. Like when someone was like, it's actually not okay to make fun of cats because like cats are the epitome of femininity and that's like misogyny. It's like, okay, would you like some reach essentials? Or someone's like, people should stop saying the word ridiculous because my uncle's name is Rick and he doesn't have a dick so he's Rick Dickless and it reminds me of him. It's like, honey, try washing that mouth out with some reach essentials. This confused me. It's just called birthday cake slime mixin kit. It's just like sprinkles and slime and you put it together. I imagine them like at the toy inventing factory just like, just give them some crumbs and some goop and tell them to mix it. Hopefully they'll stop watching British people play video games for two minutes. Like, oh, we don't care anymore. I mean, like, I don't hate my life more now, you know? This is called Clip Hangers Vent Clip. I don't even know what this is, but it, it caught my attention because the guy's name is Hanging Hank. Why does Hank only have bottom teeth? Hank is clearly, like, over 70 years old, yet he's wearing sneakers, a red baseball cap, a blue shirt that shows off his crack. Like, he might as well be licking a lolly. This thing talks to you, it literally, listen, it doesn't stop. It's just like, it sounds like it's sniffing you after you die. Like it's eating your bones or something, and it just, this video was sponsored by Skillshare. Thank you, Skillshare. Um, Skillshare is basically a website where you can take online classes by like experts in different fields. Some of them like illustration, graphic design, photography, animation. If you want to know how to edit videos, they have a class for that. If you want to know how to use a camera or do photography, they have a class for that. And basically you can just watch these videos where people who know about stuff teach you how to do it. It's really cheap. An annual subscription is like $10 a month and you can learn all these different things. And if you you click my link in the description or right here, you can get a two month free trial. I recommend this class on how to edit on the software Premiere Pro. I just got a Mac and I'm trying to learn how to edit better, so that one really helped me a lot. The teacher's name is Jordy Vandeput, and he's actually really helpful. He shows you how to basically use the entire program and do different effects and learn how to do the sound and even color correction. Bye-bye.